Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Yesterday I did a video on Binio here on the channel and thanks for liking it and giving it such a good response. One of the questions which was asked a lot in the comments and I also received a couple of emails was about installation of it on Windows and if there was any risk in it and how to do it. Installation is fairly easy on Windows but the problem is that the installer which they have shared requires a lot of things to be installed on Windows and if you have worked in Windows you know that there are a lot of DLLs, lot of dependencies which need to be there and version compatibility could be a real mess. So in this video I will be showing you how you can get this Binu or installed on your Windows system and then we will go from there. If you don't know what this software is, it is a self-hosted web UI for several kinds of AI tooling. For example, you can generate multimedia content from your text prompts like text, images, video, even music. You can use it as a chatbot on your own computer even without dedicated GPU and starting from only 8 GB of RAM. It is quite lightweight but the thing is that if you are using the models uh, then you would need a GPU and this is what I think they need to clarify on their repo too. It doesn't really depend upon the software. The requirement of GPU comes from the models not from the software. Anyone can build a UI and that will run on RAM or CPU but as soon as you start downloading and running the model and it tensors you need a accelerated card which is a GPU and that is the whole idea behind it anyway but there are a few models of course the tiny teeny ones or the quantized ones which you might be able to run on CPU there are a lot of good features around Bini um, or you like you know it's quite user friendly and I showed you in this video the other day that how good it is to generate text images video audio and even 3D from this software so I would highly suggest that you check it out and see it in action because I'm not going to go into its architectural and feature detail into this one but uh, I will just be showing you how to get it installed. So installation as I said on Windows is not that hard. First thing you need to do is to just on go to the GitHub repo which I will drop the link in video description. Once you are there you can just scroll down and you will be presented with this Windows 10 and Windows 11 system. From here, you see that there are a lot of stuff which it installs, but the good thing is that it promises you that you don't have to take care of it. It will take care of it by itself. And then um, it says that you should really make backup of your system and I agree with that. So that is why I always prefer to go with Linux, by the way, because you don't have to worry about all of these things and uninstall is very easy. But for this one, it could really be an issue anyway. So um, what I'm going to do, there are two ways of installation on Windows. First is you can just go with this command prompt or you could just go with the XE. So let's first try it out with XE. Yesterday when I tried it out, there were some bugs in this XE, but I was told that this is going to be fixed very soon. So let me do that. I'm just going to go with my uh, maybe I'll just put it anywhere on my desktop so I have saved this file on my desktop and now right click on it and run as administrator and then just click on more info and run anywhere so it says that install for all users let's go with all all users English okay and then accept the agreement next and then click on install and now you would have to wait quite a long time because it takes a bit of a time to install all the stuff which I showed you earlier. So let's wait for it to see how it goes. And then it is going to open it in the browser. So I will just pause the video and open it when it's installed it in the browser. And the installation is still going on and you won't believe it's already been 35 minutes that it's going on. Yes, correct. 35 minutes still running, still installing. So we just have to be patient. The good thing is that the error which I was facing yesterday, it's no longer there. So it seems that they might have fixed it. 
So let's wait for it to finish to see how it goes. You see it is stalling everything under the sun at the moment. And now it seems that the installation is done because it is now asking me to press any key to continue. So let me do that. And then now it is asking me that I need to restart my computer after the installation of Binu. So let me restart it and connect back here. So I have restarted my computer and then there was this icon on the desktop of Binu OU which I have double clicked. And now um, it is launching the Binu OU. Let's wait for it to get launched in the browser and then we will check it out in the browser. And there you go, you see that the Bini OU is now running uh, on our local system at port 7860. So let me open it in the browser. And there you go, our Bini OU is running on our Windows system. And as I said earlier that uh, you can check out my other video where I have gone into detail as how to actually use this software. And by the way, if you want to change the theme, you can simply click on this um, round circle and then it is going to reload it and then it is going to put it in your uh, dark theme. So pretty um, cool software once it runs and now you can see that it, uh, you, how you can install it in Windows, but at least you would have to wait 30 to 40 minutes for everything to get installed. And then you can use your text models and in order to use it just click on settings and then from here select any model of your choice for example you could go with this one and then uh, it is going to load it you can set hyper parameters here and then uh, once that's done just click on setting maybe just type here and you can ask any question what is happiness and then first time you will do it it is going to load the model as you can see here and this is only the first time it is using the quantized version and then what's that done you can start talking with it same goes for the image one you can generate your images from here you can go to settings load your model of choice and then uh, click again on settings and then you can give your prompt here it is going to generate the image same goes for music generation video generation 3d and then in global settings you can set a lot of things here like you can set your low rack adaptation model manager, what sort of ST model downloader or G GGF model model downloader you want to use. So for example, right now it is just this one and you can check out the login too. And it is loading the model. So let's wait for this one to get finished. And meanwhile that happens, this is a video I keep referring to. So this is the one which I did yesterday where we went into detail to generate text, video, image, 3D and all that stuff which you can check out if you are looking to have more in-depth tutorial as how to use it. Now um, installation is different but usage is same because it's all browser based. Okay so let's wait for this one and there you go the model is loaded and it has returned as a response around happiness is complex and multifaceted concept. And then you can just scroll down to see the response. And similarly, you can generate the images, music, video, 3D, and a lot of other stuff. For that, please follow my this video and I will drop the link to it in comment section. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. And now you can even install it on Windows. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.